Hey, it's so great to see all of you. Carl Rothschild here. Um, as you can see from the screen, we're going to be talking about anti-aging skincare. I haven't done this presentation before, um, so I, I do have some notes I might refer to in just a moment. But, um, you know, what this is all about is better results, more revenue. Um, so I'll be introducing our guest speakers, uh, Jerry White and Gina Moran, just a little while. But um, I'm hoping that you realize by now that my main goal, my main intention is to make sure that you have the best experience possible with anything that we're doing. And if there's anything other than that, I want you to tell me because that's what I want to do. And I also want to make sure that you help lots of people and they have a great experience as well and that you make lots of money. Now, if you, you notice I put it in this order. I know that people who are focusing only on the money will not have as rewarding situation or whatever, um, but I want you to have a great time, great experience, help lots of people, make lots of money. I want you to also remember that happy patients, we'll call them satisfied patients, don't refer. I should say clients or patients. They're not the ones that are gonna refer. They're not, that's not how you build your business. If you've ever seen this AT&T commercial where it says, just okay, ain't okay, or something like that. Just okay is not good enough. Happy, satisfied is okay, but it's not how you build your business. This is how you build your business. That's it. Excited patients, enthusiastic patients, enthusiastic clients. That's how you build your business. And about a month ago, my wife came home looking just like that. <laughs> I'm telling you. And she's been like this ever since. What happened a month ago, she got introduced to this anti-aging gel. And by the way, it's a lot more than just this gel, but I'm gonna talk to you about this gel that I love. Um, but this is what it's all about, getting excited about something. Um, she comes to me and she hands me this gel and she says, I want you to try this amazing stuff. And I did. And I'm telling you within a week, now what happened is a year and a half, I don't want to go into too much detail, but a year and a half ago, I got very sick, wound up in the hospital, blah, blah, blah. And it, it affected my skin somehow. And I've been putting this gel on my face, on my forehead, and as a golfer, uh, on my arms, and they feel fantastic. Smooth as can be. I mean, I'm, I'll find myself doing this sometimes <laughs> at a, an event or something, and we'll be in a meeting, and I'm doing this just to remember, I, unconsciously, and someone has to point out, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> so I want you to experience this as well. Um, I, I believe that I can help you with this gel and with the whole company that we're going to introduce in just a little while uh, to something that will, it's, it's like a marriage. This combination of our device, our light, and this company that this product line, this anti-aging product line, I think you're going to absolutely fall in love with it. Uh, well, I'm hoping you do. And, and so with this, I want to help you. Remember that first thing where I talked about your goal, my goals for you, better experience, getting, you know, working with a lot on a lot of people and making more money. With this, I believe truly that I can assist you or we can assist you with this. Um, so what I've done is I have, as I promised you, um, I've created an agreement with everybody that I'm going to give you, and I'm gonna actually buy a tube of this gel. Now, I don't use the word bottle because it gets people confused. It's a tube of this gel. And you say, just consider it my gift to you. It's costing me $50 each one, which is fine. Um, you'll see Gina's information on the bottom. Just contact Gina either by email. Uh, she'll have a list of who's attended, everybody that's attended, who then contacts her. And the reason why I want you to contact her is because I need her to explain how to use it. So what you're going to do is for your patients slash clients, you're going to put it on their face, if that's the area we're going to be working on. You're going to put it on their face. Uh, like massage it in. Just you just put a little bit on your on in your palm. It's just a, like a quarter's worth, 
and then rub it and massage it into their face after you put the lights on. It's gonna do, you're gonna do this after you put the lights on. And then hopefully they're gonna get a bottle of this and it's gonna be the first thing they're gonna use first in the morning and the last thing at night, they're gonna massage it into their face. But you can use this with cellulite too. It's a little bit uh, more of a massage, but we're having great results with com combining the gel with the, with the uh, lights as well for cellulite. So you're talking about face, you're talking about uh, if people have issues, you're talking about acne, you're talking about a myriad of different things. And it's a source of income for you as well, obviously. Now I'm gonna tell you something, I ain't no expert when it comes to skincare. You know, maybe it's me, I think, and you know, don't get mad at me, but I think women spend more time on their face and their skin than men do, but I certainly know my wife spends a lot more time on it than I do. And so these guys know a hell of a lot more than I do. And when I told her that we had a chance of getting Jerry White to speak here, she went bananas. She loves this guy. So, but Corey also, you met him, right? I know you're muted, Corey, but go ahead and unmute yourself, Corey. Oh, sorry. I thought I was unmuted. I apologize. Um, Corey, you've met Jerry, so I'm going to let Corey introduce Jerry uh, to this. And basically, uh, Jerry's going to, uh, I was going to say, here's Jerry, but instead, Corey's going to do that. And so he's going to just introduce Jerry, and Jerry's going to talk to you. And remember, it's a lot more than just this gel. But I just started off with you with uh, introducing the gel to you. So, Corey, go ahead and take it away. Well, thank you, Dr. Rothschild. Um, yeah, I was introduced to this a few weeks ago. And, um, you know, I was excited about the opportunity to enhance our clients' um, results uh, and ultimately their clients' results. Um, and so I actually spoke to Gina Moran. Um, Moran, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I don't like the sound of moron. <laughs> um, but anyway, I spoke to Gina, and boy, she was a, uh, a fountain of, of, of wealth, um, of knowledge, and um, I was very impressed, and she invited me to a conference that the ASEA uh, company had uh, local near to me a couple weeks ago, and, you know, I went in with, with you know, excitement and, and eager to learn about it, and uh, couple people came up and spoke and they introduced the, the the second person introduced somebody by the name of Jerry White and I thought oh who's this going to be and boy Jerry came up there and he has such charisma and a way about him and and a knowledge base that blew me away the way that he speaks with passion and belief and um, experience and knowledge from a scientific background you know he's a doctor he can tell you all of his uh you know, titles, but uh, an incredibly smart man. And I was able to get a one-on-one -on -one with him um, during the meeting. And he did a test on me that really blew me away, uh, where the, a physical test on my body where, you know, I put my hands out and he pushed up and I fell backward in the opposite way and I fell forward. And all of a sudden he sprayed this, this ASEA, you know, uh, liquid on me and my molecules, my uh, my cells communicated better, and the next time he did it, my body reacted a totally different way, and it was really mind blowing. So it, it got me to really kind of believe that this, there's something special about that, about this uh, redox signaling uh, technology. And so, anyway, uh, without further ado, I'd love to uh, introduce Jerry White um, and. Uh, and have him explain to us, us all what this is and how it can help our, our business. So on that, Jerry, take it away. Welcome everybody. I um, often like to preface this by saying, uh, prepare yourself for a period of simulated exhilaration. Whatever, we can make our lives as happy as we want them to be. My background is in physical therapy in part. I was the head of research for the Spokane, Washington Shriners Hospital in physical therapy, established for them the, the first of their, their systems, human performance and gait analysis laboratories. I coached at the international level in swimming and triathlons. And uh, I did a lot of interesting research on neurologic conditions and, 
amputees and phantom limb pain and all kinds of different things. Got a varied background in a lot of different areas, but really the ultimate was that I got a chance to work with the fittest of the fit and the sickest of the sick. And we're gonna be taking a little bit of a look at each one of those through the, uh, through the lens of skin care, but more anti-aging. And the new concept of anti-aging is a very different world than it was in uh, just a short 20 years ago. The material that we're gonna be working with is actually derived from a new science called redox signaling. And what it, what it does is it, it instructs us that as you get older, you begin to start to lose some of the readers and interpreters, the signaling, the characters that allow the cells to adapt to the world around them. And so you're slower to adapt. What we'll, we'll see as we go through some of our slides here is that your skin changes in how fast it can interpret damage and then adjust to the damage and repair the damage or replace the damaged area. Those are natural processes that the body does incredibly well. We in science have not been able to figure out all these complexities. It's just beyond our wildest imagination. We figure out the answer to one and it leads to six more questions. So we, we stumbled across this, this science. It, uh, it actually comes from the search for why can cells kill bad bacteria and leave the good bacteria alone? That's a, that's a new premise that that we tried to look at saying that some of the bacterial antibacterial agents and stuff that we have with certainly the antibiotics are just kind of a scorched earth policy and they take out everything so is there something that could could really enhance or mimic what the body does wipe out the bad guys leave the good ones the good ones are far more important than we would have ever imagined before and through that process around uh, 2000 there was a discovery that the results of the, the most common thing in your body could be measured and compared. And because of uh, this thing called a mitochondria, is so common that if you were to dry somebody out, half their body weight would be mitochondria. What goes on in the mitochondria? Well, when you breathe, which is probably more important to any of you than even whether you make your lunch break or not. Uh, you know, we talk about food and how important all that is and supplements and those sorts of things. But, you know, you, you could actually do it wrong for quite a while with uh, food and, and you can still make it. You know, people die 70 years later. Most of the people you know will die from what they eat. But there's some more things that are more urgent than that. You can't live three minutes without water, but you can't leave, or, I mean, you can't live three days without water and you can't live three minutes without the oxygen. And where does the oxygen go and what does it do? It goes into these little factories called mitochondria. Those mitochondria go through their normal process called the Krebs cycle. And it turns out that during that Krebs cycle process of burning for fats and sugars, in the presence of oxygen to make carbon dioxide, water, and this magical ATP, we assumed that was the most important thing in biology, except for being able to read the DNA. And uh, so off we went, we made that assumption and, and that's the kind of way we left it. But in order for the equation to occur, to burn those fats and sugars, to make the energy, it actually puts off a series of molecular pairs called reducers and oxidizers. And those molecular pairs can be analyzed to determine what's currently happening in the world around us, to send signals back and forth between parts of the cells and parts of the cells to other cells and those to organ systems. And we unraveled a magnificent new science that has now become so big that there's over 17,000 articles in PubMed.gov on this redox signaling. Well, this is the first of any technologies that is able to stabilize and make bioavailable a series of molecules you make lots of when you're in the embryo. In fact, so much so that the cell that started you 
the fertilized egg cell, when it splits and makes two daughter cells with exactly the same DNA, we never knew why one would become a, the beginnings of a nervous system and the other one become the beginnings of a musculoskeletal system and then we go on and through separate generations. It continues to have the same DNA in every single cell in your body and as long as you live the same DNA, but we can't read it, interpret it, or work with it as well as we did before. Something was missing. And, and it uh, then kind of laid out that the mitochondria that do all this activity are dying out at a level of about 10% uh, per decade. Our premise was, first, there was a, a, a biotech company that developed this 17 years, and they did 17 years worth of research and really going into it, but they couldn't make it stable. Then after they had to uh, kind of, uh, they went bankrupt, and when the proceeds were sold off, a very influential guy bought this, stabilized it through the use of a nuclear magnetic physicist or mag medical physicist, uh, Dr. Samuelson, and they were able to put it in a, a, a situation where we could eventually apply it in a gel. That gel, when applied, has molecular systems that can go back in and help the body and the cells remember how they used to work when they were young. Their systems are all there to do it as long as they can communicate properly. Now, so we'll take a look at some of the practical applications of what happens when you do that. And remind ourselves that yes, anti-aging, uh, all of us can tell by what we look like that we're aging. But there are other factors about aging that are much deeper and more profound and more uh, scary and problematic than just the skin. I'm going to focus mostly on the skin, but remember that all of your body is made of cells, and each of those cells ages, each of those cells loses function. So if you get a secondary response of your flexibility returning, you can move through range of motion you couldn't do before. The aches and pains that you get start to fade away because you didn't have them when you were 16. Those will be sort of some surprising side effects that you get from the results of working with this. So let's take a look at some of the factors that we can see that happens. Um, I need to switch out and get the uh, operational sharing and I'll be able to show some photos. So Corey, if you can pass me the, the wand here or we need to back. Right, back uh, I was on mute. Let me, uh, let me give you make co-host. All right. Uh, okay. So you should be able to share your screen now. This will stop the other screen sharing. So we know Dr. Rothschild's got his and come back here in a second. So what I'm going to show you is a really interesting set of um, results because oftentimes that's what we really care about. In this, uh, we're looking at some, you know, I'll give you a little dialogue here to help us along as well. In this le left hand corner, little kids make brand new skin every 14 days. Remember, they have the same DNA that this 69 year old physician has. And when they make the new skin every 14 days, you have strong viable cells with lots of elasticity, hydration, and ability to react. They can pick up problems. In fact, those little kids were in the embryo not very long ago. So this is gonna be really interesting as we start to take a look at this. So a little kid makes new skin every 14 days, but by the time you're 20 years old, you make new skin every 28 days. And those of you who've ever been in, in team sports or watching your favorite team, if the bench gets thin and you don't have the depth late in the game, everybody gets tired, they can't play anymore, then that's what happens when we get to this age where the skin lasts for up to 90 days. You can call on it to do whatever you want to. You can try to, uh, you can abrade it, you can, uh, you, you can try to hydrate it and add back nutrients. And there's hundreds of billions of dollars spent on all of those things. But it's like trying to get a bunch of old ladies at the nursing home that are supposed to hold their arms over their head and wake them up in the morning and say, do it, and they can only get it to their shoulders and it just droops. So you see the skin here is loose and baggy. 
we see that the musculature is actually released and these creases are big and the jowls are continuing to hang here. Notice this below. This is very interesting. She applied the surface gel for 30 days. And what did it do? Well, in one major study we showed that it increases the speed at which they turn over skin by 16% in one cell cycle. That means it's returning to what you already used to do when you were in your 50s instead of in your late 60s. But each cell cycle, we begin to start to see this turnover about 16% production faster. So literally, this is not magical. It's just reminding what you used to do. We see the same thing with these wrinkles here. And in this third one, very interesting, look at the elasticity is just completely shot down here in the chin. These are waste materials that don't have enough blood flow to be pulled from the face. And then the pores are actually vertical slits. The skin is so loose and lost that it hangs and pulls the rounded pores into long slits. This view down below is only 16 days later. Now to give you this sort of genealogical or, or, or chronological effect of the, the change in skin. If we look over on the far right here, and for some of those of you who might have your screens, um, a, a, that there's a big long group of uh, our pictures on them, uh, you can click the small dash in the upper left hand corner of that uh, series of photographs. There are other uh, people talking and it'll reduce it down so you can just see the pictures. Now my, uh, my screen is not as strong, but we do see some very heavy inflammation here. Uh, not as bad as one might think. And this poor girl was just told that if she was to take the standard medication for this, she could have clear skin, literally. You could see through it and you could watch the pulsing of the arteries. She wasn't real thrilled about that, but that she had a choice. She could either have clear skin or children because that very, very powerful drug was going to lead to the potential for um, sterility. But what we did find is in her case, the application of this material began to say, well, this is in that's acting like a 17 year old in her world and said, why not go back to what we used to do when we were seven? This is four days later. So let's take a look at another little set of this um, as we go on to the next slide here. So if I can get my, my, my slides work. Um, come on, there we go. And we'll look at another problem when we start to see skin aging. This is called creping of the skin. And through that process, there are a number of things that can happen. We see the blood vessels weaken. You can bump up against something, get a big bruise. And then if the skin actually tears, and that's very easy to do, because remember, the skin turnover is important in the healing process. Little tiny kids under the age of two, they can get a big old cut and close that wound within two days with no scar needed. And then by the time you're in your 20s, then the scarring is required and that scar remains for a lifetime or used to. And now then we see within, the, within a 20 day period or about a 30 day period <clears throat> um, in this case, this is simply returning to how that arm used to work. So for those of you who wanted to go for the third part of can you make money, you show a couple of these pictures and they'll say, give me a 55 gallon drum. Well, we wish it came in that size, but it doesn't. And let's see what happens. This one here is a, um, all that is, is just the inability to get the waste out of the skin because of too little blood flow. Another study we have on this material found an astounding increase in microcirculation of 50% for 96 hours. So after one application for 96 hours or four days, we had the increase. And then we get into a very interesting set over here. For those of us who are not accustomed to modern piercings, this is a belly button. And uh, as we look here, the skin has been stretched during the birth process. We've never seen the ability to do this before. And I'll get into some detail on a better picture of that in just a moment. We, talk about, we do have a dog there going off. So if you have a dog that's going off, go to the lower left-hand corner and mute yourself out, please. 
here what we see was this is a company called Dermatest out of Germany. And this is the really most prestigious uh, skin testing company in the world. They asked us uh, if we wanted to, well, we, we went to them and said, basically, we'd like to have you do a test. We'd like to see if there's some effects we can do on um, a cellulite. And they said, well, how long would you like us to do the test? And, and, and the company said eight weeks. And they said, well, it's your money, but don't waste your time. They said, because the fastest we've ever seen with any skin preparation of any results at all would be, um, uh, you'd have to do it a year and a half. Well, these results were actually taken at four weeks because there was a conference coming up and they, they wanted to have them available for the conference. We know that 90% of women at age 20 begin to start to develop some form of um, this cellulite sort of dimpling that occurs and then it can increase over time. And especially in this first picture, you, you really get an appreciation for the change that occurred in four weeks. Now what that's doing, it's reverting back to making skin in a similar way that it did when this lady was very young. So we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these photos. Now, just to help you get a, a little better idea of some of the things that go into the natural processes, remember that we're dealing with um, skin, we're dealing with the body healing itself. So just like any supplement, this had gone through a number of things. There's a story behind why it comes out and calls itself a supplement. Uh, just for regulatory purposes, you can't diagnose, treat, cure, or heal anything. That's not what the intent of this is. What we are saying is if you could give the most miraculous invention of all time and creation is the, is the human system that was able to determine, detect, protect itself first, but then if it loses it to detect problems that occur and then either repair or replace them, let's take a look at how effectively this can be done. And these are just saying we did not try to claim that this was a, an active agent, for example, in killing this skin disorder, but you notice the cheek here and the arm here did not get affected by that skin disorder. There's certain sections of the body that were overtaken and they can't, this little girl's allergic to antibiotics, so they were very concerned about scarring in the long run. So they applied the gel. And uh, interestingly, um, in her skin being able to turn over so quickly, and the, the fact that uh, this is gone, this is four days over here, as the body took over and did its own work. Uh, that's a really, th I think, important thing for everybody to remember is that this was not a killing agent in this effect, that the skin, we think, did the job of all the skin around it by just returning to normal. Here's an example of what I was mentioning when we have a big uh, cut, for example, on a two-year-old, it can be, you can actually watch it if you take a uh, magnifying glass, you can see one side reach across with fingers and attach to the other side and they both pull and it closes its own wound and it does it quick enough that apparently it's not too worried about this infection. But by after the age of two, it slows down so much that we have to put a patch on there called a scar and that scar will remain for life. This is a 25 year old that shows us the examples of what happens when it slows down. And uh, he got stitched up by the doctor and the doctor applied the uh, gel over the top. The friend came along who's an emergency room physician and said, you know, um, this normally takes 11 days for the stitches to come out. And he said, uh, I believe based on what I see in my experience that if you leave those in very much longer, your scarring is going to be a lot worse. And he took it out on the second day, not the sixth or not the 11th. And that, then uh, that's unheard of. But then more importantly yet is that we all form the scab for a couple of weeks and then the scar and the scar returns colors and then it's sensitive to the sun and so forth. But in this case, just reminding it how to do what it did when it was young, went from this original gash to this closed wound with no scar in six days. Imagine, we're just doing something very different. These are similar to what we saw before. Let's just take a look at this. This is what happens at 90 days, a 90 year old who was given a special skin uh, 
preparation by his physician to burn the skin away to try to prevent the recurrence of tumors. And uh, the problem here is the guy's about four months into it and just can't seem to muster what it takes. Remember at first he could do it in a couple of days and then it was 11 or 12 days. And in his case, and we know in many of the older folks, it can be upwards of 11 weeks and they still don't seem to get any better. But then in, in an astounding result was just to remind the skin what it already knows how to do and here it's five days later. This was even more amazing when we began to see that we know that the cells in this scar have the same DNA as the skin right next to them. The scar in her case, or the keloid, developed as a result of scraping her nose three years ago. We know that the scar is going to make new cells every 30 days-ish in her age group and the skin is gonna make new cells every 30 days. And so we know now that for 36 months in a row, 36 times, the scar made new scar. So I always wondered about that as a physical therapist. Why after the patch effect is done, why does it, when it goes back to read the DNA to make a new cell to replace it, why does the scar continue to make scar? And I use this one sort of analogy. I mentioned in the beginning that these are called reductive and oxidative molecules, the redox molecules. It's kind of like the name Brangelina. They took the two and put them together. We have reducers and oxidizers. They're opposites. They come off of that special thing in, in uh, the, the Krebs cycle. And let's say my fingers represent different ones of these elements. And, uh, or in this case, my fingers represent the wells of an inkjet printer. Each one is a different color. And if you've got full inkjet wells, you can, color, you can print color, you can send out messages that fully represent what you're trying to, pro to, to get out there. But let's say that um, in, over the course of time or circumstance or aging, we start to lose, let's say kids got in the back room and it was Valentine's Day tomorrow and they use up all the red. Well, now we see that the red is missing and a balance of communication has been sort of disrupted because it's like taking the letters out of the alphabet. So if you needed to get a fax to some important department and their instructions on how to proceed are written in red, all of a sudden they're not written in red and, and you can't read it or interpret it or go about doing what it was doing. So with aging, we see that these colors or these inkjet wells start to reduce in size and capability some of what they have, and that's why we can't react and repair as quickly as we used to. In fact, we can't read the full DNA like we did when we were in the embryo. So what if we popped the lid and we actually filled up those inkjet reservoirs with that missing fluid? All of a sudden, in one cell cycle, we see this where the scar has turned back to skin. Or in this case, how popular will it become if you can take these and in 30 days come out with this kind of result and each consecutive group after that may see even better results over time. Uh, now this is something that we will show you. We don't, a tendency, we don't have a tendency to want to put this out in, in, in mass quantities. It's just an observation. It's something for you to be aware of. This little baby burned her hand on a halogen light. And the neighbor was a new nurse and thought it was a good idea to remove the skin. Uh, it wasn't really a good idea, but very, very uncomfortable. And uh, so using this material, the parents discovered that if they put the baby's hand in it, then it would stop hurting. That's really all they cared about. But surprisingly, in the embryo, only a few months earlier, that baby had actually built the material that made the hand. So here afterwards, this is uh, 20, see June 24th, this is 26 days later. The body had gone back and rebuilt the entire hand without grafting or without um, any special surgeries and care. The baby built everything, including the original fingerprints over again. We thought, hmm, this anti-aging, let's take a look at it. This can occur in a little baby. Maybe it's really close to when they were in the embryo. I wonder what would happen on somebody older. This guy is a sticks his leg on a tailpipe of a motorcycle, and he's burned through enough tissue that we're pretty sure we're two or three layers deep, and it's going to scar with a very thin, very fragile um, 
type of a scar. And uh, we're going to be real problematic. It'll tear, it'll pucker, and it'll do a lot of kinds of things. So he started spraying this material on his leg for palliative reasons, trying to make it work uh, a little better and uh, not be so painful. To our vast amazement, notice what was resultant 13 days later. It had to build multiple different types of tissues, perhaps by reading the DNA in exactly the same way it did embryologically. The next three are cases where the body gets confused. It's called autoimmune. The, the, the immune system starts attacking normal tissue because it can't tell the difference. It seems that there's not enough signaling coming in that dark space inside the body for the, the immune system to determine that this inflammation is, is not a, a, an, an invading microbe. And it, it assumes that, I, you know, I just can't tell. Why? Because we have things like dehydration, lack of sleep, poor nutrition, radio waves, microwaves, uh, poison in the air, poison in the water, too much sound, not enough light, too much light. All these different things seem to affect the ability of the immune system when it finally goes haywire in even determining who's friend and who's foe. So this is kind of a friend, friendly fire situation called uh, autoimmune, where the, the, the body is literally attacking itself because it just can't recognize who the enemy is. What if we could, this is six years of putting a, uh, a special kind of hormone gel into a pair of gloves and wearing those rubber gloves with tape around the, uh, the wrists all day long, every day for six years. No real positive benefit. But then one day we put this, she started to apply the simple material and uh, 30 days later, it just has been stop attacking and it does not attack. And so it has time to get ahead of the equation and fix itself. Again, here's sensitive skin around the eyes that fixed itself and then around behind the ear and it fixed itself. This is a, a, another process that you'll feel with this where in the aging process, this is a 64-year-old woman who drops a dresser on her foot. And as a result, we know she's going to be hobbling around, having a whole lot of problems. Even this could blood clots could be a problem in the long run. Well, surprisingly, with just the application of this on a safe surface level, this is 24 hours later, and she's walking normally. Why? Because she used to do that when she was young. Now there's a whole host of things that I could show you that we're not allowed to show you. Oops, I accidentally went through them. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop out of here. And the reason that I'm not allowed to show you is we are not allowed to imply that this will heal or cure or treat anything. But let's go back to this concept. What if the cells could remember how they used to work when they were young and do it over and over again? So I'll stop the share now and we'll pass it on to the next. Okay, I will now uh, make Dr. Carl the presenter. Well done, Jerry. That was very impressive. Corey, actually, we're going to go to Gina. I just wanted her to mention a few things when they call her. Um, Does she want the screen, you mean? I think so. Gina, how are you? Hi, I'm here. Can you see me? Yeah, there you are. Hi. Good morning or almost afternoon, everyone. I'm not sure where everybody's at. Can you guys see me okay or hear me? You, we see you clearly and you look great. Thank you. Everyone's muted, so no one's gonna be starting to scream and yell at you. Okay, great. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Carl, for putting this webinar together. And thank you so much to my dear friend and the most amazing Jerry White, as you can all see, he's a just a tremendous amount or uh, wealth of information. And I've learned so much from this gentleman working beside him for probably the last 15 years. Um, one thing I would just like to add is that most of you are learning about the topical form of these redox signaling molecules. But please keep in mind that the topical form was really the afterbirth. It was the second generation of the flagship foundational product, which is the liquid that we consume orally. And uh, as Jerry uh, may have commented a little bit too, that these molecules are really the greatest scientific achievement in the world today in the health science arena. I can say that with boldness uh, and all assurity. Even, even the father of DNA, um, Dr. James Watson, 
has uh, made reference to this, that if we could just figure out a way to, you know, in layman's terms, he basically said, if we could just figure out a way to get more of these redox signaling molecules in our body, that we would have the answers, and he said cures, to many, many diseases that we're all very familiar with. So please keep in mind, how uh, even myself, as I began to drink these molecules, I noticed a difference in my skin. Uh, I noticed a scar had diminished from my knee that I had had since I was 15 years old due to breaking up a dog bite. Uh, many, many things changed in my body uh, at 57 years old that I really didn't imagine could, could begin to change. I just took it you know, as a sign of natural aging like most of us do. So just keep in mind that you really can turn back the hands of time. You can turn back the biological clock, if you will, as you grow chronologically older and life just continues to get better and better. And I think at the end of the day, wouldn't we all like to live younger, longer and live with energy and vitality of life and, and just like we did when we were 20 and 30. So uh, life couldn't be, be better uh, with working with this company and this technology and with all of you. So I'm very excited to uh, just uh, be a, a vessel here, a vehicle for you all to, to uh, tap into. With. Hey, um, Gina, yesterday uh, you had just gave me a two minute overview of how the ingestion of this stuff can affect weight loss. Can you give an explanation of why this would also be a great uh, supplement to our lights and weight loss and potentially other diet programs? Yes, absolutely. So this actually came as a, an after the fact, kind of a side benefit, if you will, uh, discovered by our country's number one guru, Dr. Neiman, who runs the number one human performance laboratory in North Carolina. And when he was asked to test these molecules, he's, he's kind of the number one guru that does all the um, nutritional testing with athletes. And when he was asked to test this, he said, you know what? Um, this looks a lot like salt water. Um, I'm not sure you want me to test it. And our founder, Vernus Norton, said, well, it's not, and we'd like you to test it. And he said, well, okay, just keep in mind that I'm going to have to publish my findings. So at two and a half weeks, ladies and gentlemen, he called the world headquarters and he said, we have never, ever, ever seen anything like this. What in the world is it? He said, this is too big to talk about over the phone. I need you guys down here now. Okay, we need to understand what in the world this is because what he saw was 43 metabolites shifting, which he had never seen before, not even in combinations of products. And what that means is that it's giving our body the ability to shift fat, to burn fat the first minute we move when we exercise rather than 30 to 40 minutes into an exercise routine. So uh, most of us know that it takes about 30 to 40 minutes burning sugar and muscle glycogen before we even get into our fat burning stores. But when you drink these liquid molecules, you are literally giving your body the ability to burn fat the first minute you move. And so for some of us, like myself, that's 57 years old, you know, I, without changing my diet, my lifestyle or anything, I lost about six to eight pounds when I first started drinking these. And of course it was all around my abdominal area. I'm a mother of six. So as most of us ladies know, those last few pounds that we carry after childbirth are almost sometimes impossible to get rid of. And uh, with the assistance of these molecules, it was great. And I also found that I was able to consume uh, foods that were you know, giving me trouble before. I'm not um, necessarily, I'm not gluten intolerant, but you know, as we age, our digestion system does slow down. So I noticed that that improved um, tremendously, but Jerry could probably give you more of a, a scientific or professional um, explanation of that. But all I know is that when we burn fat first, which is most, which is probably one of the first reasons that most of us want to exercise in the first place and go to the gym, it's it just accelerates everything that we're looking for those results to become leaner and thinner. Well, Gina, thank you so much. Um, I put the screen up. Hopefully, every can you see the uh, your name and information on here? If people yes, get a hold of you, it is Gina Moran. <laughs> it is Moran. Yes, thank you. Okay. I spelled it right, didn't I? Yeah, Corey was just referring to. Uh, oh, uh, well, Moran. yeah. <laughs> anyway, I like Moran. <laughs> Corey also has a very difficult last name. It's uh, it could be Huel. <laughs> At any rate, listen, guys, I am so appreciative. Thank you, everybody, for attending. 
Uh, if you do want to take advantage of this uh, insane thing I'm doing here, buying tubes for everybody, uh, call Gina. Um, don't delay because she does have a limited uh, amount of these that, that I made available to her. So I have enough for everybody that's uh, here, but um, you probably have to do this today or tomorrow. And uh, so anyhow, thank you very much. We are record. We did record this and we will post it if uh, anyone needs to miss the beginning or if anybody else needs to hear from it. Um, but I tell you, use this in your practice, use this in your business, and uh, it will enhance and accelerate your results. Obviously, uh, the lights are amazing. If you haven't watched uh, Connie McCoy, I think Connie McCoy's on here with us. Uh, if you watch Connie McCoy's video, it's hysterical. She's only been using our lights for a week and she's having the time of her life. So at any rate, listen, everybody, thanks so much. You always have my information. Remember, you can always call me. If I can't take the call uh, right away, I will call you back as soon as I can. I would like to just add one quick thing, and that is when you call Gina, let her know who your rep is at LipoMelt. And if you do want to be involved, she'll talk you through how to become an associate and be able to, you know, kind of market these products to your own clients. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Um, Corey, actually, you got the helm here, so I'm going to let you uh, close everybody out. But thanks, everyone. Take care, and uh, we'll be talking to you again soon.